Continuing to field questions for you, Samili, I have a student from within our Telegram group who's asking, now that the step one has gone to pass fail, are there certain low yield topics that could be ignored, such as psych, derm, biostats, he asks, and I can give you a very fucking excellent answer here, okay, in a very short clip. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L, man underscore medical, the link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel are down below, now start the clip. So students asking about low yield concepts that could potentially be ignored that the, now that the step one's pass fail. And the answer is absolutely, okay? And I would say more than anything else, this comes down to obscure pharmacokinetics, okay? It's not our fucking opinion. I mean, the NBME, USMLE, they decided to make it pass fail. So uh, what will coincide with that is nobody gives a fuck about trying to shoot for an arbitrary 270 anymore, okay? So no, I don't think you need to know obscure pharmacokinetics anymore. A lot of the uh, calculations for things outside of biostats, like renal blood flow, et cetera, or um, gas exchange type equations for pulmonary, absolute nonsense, okay? Once again, I mean, I I took the step one a decade ago during the gunner culture of where, you know, everyone was shooting for their 270, 280, and like, yes, we used to need to know that stuff, but like, now it's an absolute waste of your fucking time. Caveat, however, is that for biostats, I would I would know that stuff really well only because it, you're going to need to know it for 2CK and of course step three, but for 2CK where your score really fucking matters, okay? If you want to hold off on obscure biostats, quote unquote, I'm talking about stuff outside of sensitivity, specificity, PPV, NPV, that stuff's high yield biostats. But if you get like obscure types of studies or just difficult questions, very nitpicky and you're confused, I would say truthfully, you don't really have to freak out about it for step one, okay? Let's say you're scoring internally a 220 already. I mean, that's fine. Just fucking move on, all right? So, but as I already said, the caveat is when you get to 2CK and your score fucking matters, you got to make sure you know the biostats well, okay? That's where all your uh, competition, that's where your competitiveness is going to be banked on, the 2CK. As far as other topics for step one, you said psych and derm as possibilities. Those aren't low yield, okay? They're actually exceedingly high yield. So, um, and I have a high yield derm PDF, a high yield psych PDF, and a biostats one as well. Um, but for the consolidation point uh, in this short clip, I would say mainly obscure pharmacokinetics and very obscure biostats for the step one. Maybe some obscure biochemistry as well. Uh, but that's my answer, uh, that now that the step one is pass fail, it is true that there are certain things that absolute fucking nonsense. You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.